officially having contractions. She's been having them for about an hour now. I think she's getting close. No pushing yet, but we're definitely having contractions. And she has decided that she wants to give birth in the dirt and the dust with the other goats. I've tried to put her in a stall. I've tried to get her to go onto the grass. She's decided that she wants to give birth in the most inconvenient place possible. I was up pretty much all night with Nell because yesterday she lost her ligaments and her udder filled up. So I thought she was gonna have them in the middle of the night. So I woke up like every two hours and spent like half an hour out here with her just kind of assessing how close she was and she was making zero progress. But I was still up all night with her. And then when I woke up this morning, I noticed she started having contractions. So it's been about an hour of contractions. They're getting harder and closer together. Nell is doing great, but I'm just sitting with her now, waiting for her to give birth. She's up and down, up and down. She's very uncomfortable. She looks like she's in pain. So we're getting pretty close. She's decided that she would like to give birth right here in the dust, or maybe not, maybe she's leaving. She's been laying down right here in the dust and she's also been laying down right where Butterscotch is right now. That's where she was earlier. Um, I've got my camping chair set up. I've got my kating kit all good. And yeah, we're ready to go. I am beyond excited to see these babies from Nell. Um, I chose a very nice buck to pair her with. So these are gonna be some awesome little babies. And if she has a cute little doling, who knows? Maybe I'll retain it, maybe I won't, we'll see. Um, but Nell is a first freshener. She's never kitted before, so this makes it all that much more stressful for me and for Nell. I have no idea what to expect, and first fresheners generally need a little more assistance when it comes to birthing and when it comes to drying off the kids and just bonding with them. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully she has an easy kitting, she loves her babies, and everything goes smoothly. Just want to show you guys a look at a contraction really quickly. You can see, well, she's moved now, but her she was all haunched up in the butt. Um, she's very posty. She wants me to pet her right now. Um, and she looks sunken in where her vulva is. And those are the signs of a contraction. So Noah has decided to move back over here by the fence. I still think that she should give birth, at least in the grass, but... If this is what she truly wants, then I will let her have it. All right, you guys, so I didn't catch it on camera, but her water sack just broke, as you can see from all of this, um, which means she should start pushing any time now, which is super <laughs> exciting. No, I don't, yeah, push it a little. Sack. That's good, and then it just popped her open a little more. Yeah. Take a, take a break. This is the yeah, hard maybe part. Maybe do that to get it to nose out, or hopefully to nose. She is very small. She's gonna have to stretch a lot. Looks like it's two different ones. I see something. I see a nose. It's coming now. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. Look at his little tongue. Looks like a s It's coming. There we go. Oh, good girl. Cock it up, cock it up. There you go. Good job now. It was positioned correctly and everything. Lighting now. There it is. Can you lay down, She's please? She's gonna stop on the baby. She was just about to, and I just. Oh, 
That was a good save. <laughs> She's got like a baby and two sacks coming out, so. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> bigger. Look at the size of this one. Is there another one that did it? Or is that just its leg? That's just its leg. Nell's eating her alfalfa. This is a buckling. This was baby number three, who was backwards. Then we've got another buckling, baby number one. This one's the smallest. And then the little doly, baby number two. Super cute. I love that we got two chocolate babies. And there's this guy. All right, so Nellie had triplets, which was what we ultrasounded her with. Um, I'm just chilling here with them, waiting for Nell to pass her placenta. She ended up having two bucks and a doe, and the doe is way bigger than the bucks, which usually the bucks are bigger than the does, but the opposite is true in this case. Nell did amazing. This birth was definitely not a simple one. The first kid came out positioned perfectly. The second kid was big, big for a first freshener, big for having triplets. Um, the third kid came out right after the second kid, and not only was it backwards, but it only had one back leg presenting, and she pushed it out with no problems. I didn't even notice that it wasn't positioned correctly until it was almost all the way out because of how good of a job she did pushing it out. So I'm super proud of Nell. She did amazing. Um, she loves her babies. She's feeding them. Everybody is good to go. And I'm super happy with the outcome.